Hey everyone, I have got my fashion box to do. I haven't had one of these in a while. I believe this is my eighth box from Fashion. I think my stylist picked out eight gorgeous items for me to try, and I think I picked out the best five. I hope that you stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel. I am super excited to have you here tonight to share with my to share my fashion unboxing with you. I haven't had one of these in a while, so I am really super excited to open this up and see what's in it. But first, I just want to thank my subscribers again. It means the world to me to have you here. I did notice I got a few more subscribers this week, so thank you, thank you so much. It, you just can't imagine how excited I get when I see that my number goes up. I get sad when it goes down, but that's part of life, I suppose. Uh, so anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope that you click on that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us. And fashion. So anyway, fashion is one of those clothing boxes. And this is only my eighth box. And I think the reason I'm always behind on this is because it doesn't come every month like some of the other boxes. That you have to go online and request that they fill out a box for you. And it's like something in this fast and crazy world. You work all day, you come home and you say, you know, and then you've got other things to do and you just forget about it. And then you'll be watching someone else's YouTube channel and you say, fashion, I could order a box and then you forget about it. But anyway, I remembered, I ordered it. So anyway, I'm going to leave everything you need to know about fashion in the description box below. It is a styling service um, in my link below. Um, if you use my link, you will get a $10 credit off your first box. I will get a $10 credit off my box. I, it is a $15 styling fee. That $15 is credited towards anything that you purchase. You'll fill out a quick questionnaire for them on your sizes and styles, things that you like and you don't like. After that, be a few days, you'll receive an email and they will give you like seven to eight items to pick from. You'll pick five of those to try. If you don't like anything that they picked, you can just ask, send an email to say, you didn't like any of them to send another set of eight items um, from that you'll pick the five items that you want to try within a few days it's it's going to ship they are super super fast um, comes in this gorgeous little purple box you're going to try everything on in the comfort of your own home see what you like what you don't like if you keep three items i believe you get a 25 percent discount if you keep four or five you get a 30 percent discount so anyway, I am not going to show everything online to a uh, normal unboxing. I'm just kind of going to go through a quick few things. I'm going to do a try on and then a recap. I'm going to get this uh, envelope. It says, hello, beautiful. And one thing that uh, I really love about fashion is for every box that they style, they donate a dollar to the uh, Rescue Society in New York City for the uh, animals there. So it's just really good. Um, it's going to tell you on this card everything that you need to know you have three days to decide if you need to exchange something for a different size you email them and let them know i know some people haven't had luck doing that i've exchanged um items for different sizes and every time i've asked to do it i've they've i've been lucky enough and they've had it in the other size that i needed i've got a hand note here from morgan yay and so i've had morgan all the uh, eight times so I'm super excited to have her back again and just this uh, hashtag better as I am just believe in yourself and you'll be unstoppable also you're going to get the invoice and one thing that I like about their invoices too is that it does show you a picture over here of uh, what they're giving you because sometimes you'll get the same brand and the same colors and you don't know which one they're talking about but it will have the prices off to the side I've got a note from my stylist so I'm just going to kind of hold that up right there but I'm super excited to try some of these items on did they just really look really good in the preview um, you're going to get a prepaid mailer. This is going to go back, I believe it's from the United States Postal Service, but I could be wrong. Uh, just double checking because it's been a while since I've had one. 
So it's a United States Postal Service. Anything you don't want or you need to exchange will go back in this bag. You can drop it off at your postal post box. You know, like I have that big box in the middle of the uh, parking lot there. You can go in, get a receipt. I live in a rural area, so I can put mine out in my mailbox, and they will come and pick that up for me. And this box, it's, it's uh, busting at the seams here. And it's got this cute little sticker that says thank you and the fashion. And like I said, this is a wicked heavy one. I did pick out some, I think I have some winter sweaters in here. And it was... Uh, 11 below zero when I left to, today to go to work. So we are still having some cold weather. These are the items in here. My quick little pick in my bundle here. So anyway, I'm going to try everything on and then we will be right back. And I'm back with the first outfit. Actually, it's the first sweater. So this is the Skies of Blue. They're calling it a turtleneck knit sweater in small and a heather gray and it's $42. To me, this is more like a cowl neck, but just semantics, I suppose. It's got this nice cable knit. It's an acrylic blend with polyester. It's got some Angora wool in it. It is machine washable. No, it's hand wash only, so I would probably end up doing it on delicate cycle. The back is just a nice smooth. It's a nice heavy sweater. Could definitely use it for the rest of this uh, winter season. It's a nice length to wear with uh, leggings. I wish I, I got that sciatica so I just kind of lean funny. So it's not your camera, so it's not your monitor, it's, it's me. I just lean from that sciatica that I've had so long. But um, so anyway, it is nice. I do like this cable knit. I think it probably is a little big. I Probably not enough to go to an extra small that I know about. But anyway, let me know your thoughts and I will be right back with something else. And back with top number two. So this is the Lay A Me. It's the a zebra print top. It's size small. It's got these. I'm not sure if you'd call that a bell sleeve or not, but it's uh, kind of gathered right here, but it's not tight. And then a nice full sleeve here. I just left it on with these same necklaces, but if I wanted a little bit more color, I could just kind of wrap it around and wear, wear it like that to have a little thicker look there or just leave it like this so it's this cute zebra print with kind of like a coppery brown and black it's a nice stretchy material this was actually freezing cold everything in the box was just so cold from sitting out all day I actually put it in my towel warmers before I put it on love my towel warmer so anyway this is the top I think it would uh, it's a nice length to go and I've just got my velvet spanks on it's a nice length in the back But just uh, loving that print. See if I can get it up so you can see the print a little bit better. Nice scoop neck. So if you wanted to wear a different kind of jewelry with it, you could. I think it's kind of cute. Did I say it was $44? So let me know what you think, and I will be right back. All right, so back with two items. So I've got on these Just Black, the Distressed Frayed Hem Bootcut Jeans. These are in a size zero. They are a little long. I've got them with like an inch and a half kitten heels on and they're perfect, but I wouldn't be able to wear them with sneakers, but wedgies in the summer, something are good. The um, distressing on this side, it's above the knee, so that's not bad. This one, it's going to be right there. So I do have some patches that I got that I put ironed on some other distressed jeans so that they had that distressed look, but my knees weren't going through. So if I were to keep them, I would do that, but I'm loving the color on these. The, they are just so soft. I think they do have a nice fit. Maybe they are a little big at the waistline, but that means I can go out and have pizza, so that's good. I'm dying to wear it with this new pocketbook that I have, and I think this uh, this looks nice. This is from Vince Camuto, so love, loving that. I haven't even taken the paper off it yet. But anyway, this is the look of the pants. The top, oh, and the just uh, black. Oh, sorry, just USA. don't know where I got the just black from. Uh, the Distressed Hem Frayed, frayed Denim Jeans, size zero, they're $58, so that's, I like the price of $58, is great for a nice pair of jeans. The top is from White Birch, it's the Chanel Knit Hoodie and Small in Hunter Green, and that's $39. Loving this, it's so soft, it's a nice Hunter Green, it does have a hoodie, 
a nice weight for Chanel. Not as soft as some of these other Chanel's that I've had, but it's a nice weight. It does have the drop shoulders, so the drop shoulders kind of gives it kind of dolmany kind of look, but I know that just kind of bothers me not having things go up there. So for me, I don't think I would keep this, but I know other people love this. I think it's a good length to wear with jeans. I think it goes down low enough to cover the backside if you did want to wear it over a pair of tunic. Loving the uh, the hunter green color. It is so pretty, so comfortable. And I've got one more top, I think. So I will be right back. And back with the last top. This is a nice camel sweater. It's by Gilly. I was wondering if it would go with my new mustard bag or if I would stick with the green or just black. Let me know what you think about that. So anyway, I need Janine from Janine uh, Haldi to help me because I don't know how to do these front tucks. But anyway, uh, this is sweater is by Gilly. It's called the Sonia Camouflage Knit Sweater in Small Green, and it's $46. So again, it does have this it's nice, heavy material. I just got the cuffs kind of folded up on the sleeve. So we've got um, some like moss green and different shades of green, some black, uh, just a crew neckline. It is a shorter length sweater, and I think maybe that's a trend that the uh, sweaters are getting kind of cropped again. I did a front tuck, so maybe it wouldn't look so boxy. And that's the length in the back, but I don't really know how to do a front tuck. And this is uh, what it would look like without it, so... I don't think it's a perfect fit on me, but it's I don't think it's that bad. And again, it's got the drop sleeve, so... That means, you know, the armholes are a little bit different, but it's not as bad as the other one. I'm just not sure about the length, but I think with the front tuck, it looked a little bit better. So anyway, let me know what you think. And I think if I do keep the jeans, I know I would definitely use that um, iron-on patch on the inside. That's a denim material, but I think I would also do it on this one too. It is, uh, you know, distressed right there. So I like the looks of the distress. I just don't necessarily like my bare skin hanging out. So I would definitely on the top part too on this, put that iron on patch on the inside. And then I think it's, it would be perfect for me. I like the frayed hemline. So let me know what you think. So anyway, while I'm set up here and it's so cold, you know, sometimes once you get cold, you just can't warm up. So I've got my pajamas in the towel warmer now. And um, as soon as I'm finished, I'm going to put on my warm pajamas and get a cup of coffee. So let's go over the items. So first we have these Just USA at the, the Distressed Hem Frayed Denim, size zero. They're $58. Love them. I think even with the distressing, um, I'm, I'm not really crazy about it at the where it is on the knee, but I think those patches are going to make it livable for me. This is the white birch. It's the Chanel sweater in size small, hunter green. I just wasn't crazy about the fit on me, and I think it's these drop shoulders that just kind of throw me off and where the arms go on it. It does. It is a beautiful shade of uh, green. It's got this center seam going down here. A little bit of cuff detail there, and again at the bottom got the hood so this is really cute it's for $39 but I think I will definitely be passing on that next we have the skies a blue sweater in heather gray it's the calling it the turtleneck knit but it is a cowl neck it's size small this is only $42 it's got this nice I'm gonna call it cable knit stitching it is a nice heavy weight I did cut the sleeves when I had it on It's the back. And I think for the most part, the fit wasn't bad. I might see if they do have an extra small just to have a little bit of a better fit, but I did like it. Probably got about a month and maybe six more weeks of winter here. So I would definitely get some use out of it because I don't have any sweaters that fit. So for $42, I think this is pretty nice. Next we have this uh, Gilly. It's the Sonia Camouflage Knit Sweater in small size green. This one I'm on the fence about. This one is $46. I do like the print. I think it's a nice fun print. I think for the jeans it looks nice. I think if I can figure out how to front tuck, Jadine, I need your help. I think it would look better on me. I don't think 
and again this has got the dropped sleeves the drop shoulders right here so the kind of has that funny fit under the arms but I don't think sizing down is going to help that so let me know your thoughts on that lastly we have this cute little top by the Lays Ami it's called the Amelia Zebra print it's got this nice like coppery brown and black zebra print I'm not sure if you would call that a bell sleeve or not but I think the sleeve detail was cute it's got a nice rounded neckline it's uh, rounded at the bottom too so that well maybe not real rounded but maybe a little bit but anyway I liked it with the uh, the velvet spanks but I think even wearing it with uh, jeans or black pants would still look nice and this one is $44. So altogether the box was $229, which I think is a pretty good price. Uh, if I were to buy everything, it would be 30% off, which would make it uh, $68.70 off. So my total would be $160.30. Again, I don't think I'm going to be keeping everything, so I do look forward to your comments to help me decide what to keep. Um, I just have to figure out how to do that front tuck. I might have to practice. What do you think? So anyway, that's everything in my box. Thank you everyone for joining me. I hope everyone goes out and has a fantastic day. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. I'd love to have you come back. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.